past 90 days. No excuses with X3. All 30 minute workouts, no problem finding the time for that. So let's get right into it. Day one was total synergistics. Total synergistics sounds like a, sounds a little bit like core synergistics, right? Why, yes, it does. The difference is, as the name implies, this is a total body workout, but uses the same concepts of core synergistics in that with every move, you're using multiple body parts to, t- to make it happen. In a lot of ways, this felt like a P90X2 workout for many of the same reasons. I kind of felt like X2 was core synergistics on steroids, and the concept applied to all the traditional P90X workouts. For this workout, you'll need weights and a pull and a pull-ups bar and or resistant bands. We started off with a quick warm-up and stretch, about three and a half minutes, and got right into things. Started off with push-ups into sidearm balance, decided to them on to do them on medicine balls since that's what I had been doing with X2, and would like to maintain the balance aspect of those results. Followed up with a cre- crescent chair, which is basically going from chair pose into a crescent lunge and back, alternating legs. Kills the quads and works on balance, so it was highly effective. We then did our first pull-up type move, pull-knee-pull, which was essentially doing a pull-up, then pulling your knees up while you're still up. Another synergistic type of movement. Not just working your back like regular pull-ups, but a lot of core engagement required with the knee pulls. Next came flip-flop crunches. One forearm on the ground, one hip up, crunching the knee and elbow together, and switching sides. Again, total core work, not just abs, as well as balance. Next we had the crawly plyo plyo push-ups. Different than your standard plyo push-ups in that one foot was closer to the elbow, switching sides. Very explosive exercise here. Be careful. Next came the relieve ply, pl- or relieve plie with the weight. Basically, in a wide squat on your toes and then squatting down. Burns the quads like crazy. Reminded me of stuff I like anything I've seen in P90X or X2 before. We then had the chin up circle crunch, somewhat similar to the pull knee pull, except this time you're making a semicircle with the knees. Then came boat plow which was just going from a boat position to a plow position. Simple, but great core work. Next, we got into a little bit more stuff with shoulders and arms. Some balance components added in. We had the balance arch push press, which was standing on one leg and bringing a weight up and over your head to the other side and back. Great combo of resistance and balance. Followed with that, the three hot press, which was holding a weight, hopefully laterally three times, then pressing the weight above your head and going back. Then came the glamour hammer, essentially in and out hammer curls on one leg. Again, great resistance slash balance combo. Wouldn't have seemed out of place in X2 shoulders and arms. Next, it was back to core with the Brandon boat, named after Tony's girlfriend, Shauna Brandon, who appeared in X2 yoga and is also featured in Pilates X. Different than your standard boat in that you're alternate lifting, you alternate lifting your legs up and down, then your upper body up and down. We then had the Flying Warrior, which was basically Warrior 3 with weights. Gotta go light here. As tough as Warrior 3 is on its own body, on its own, this is a whole new level. Squat Rockers came next, holding a weight in the squat and rocking from your toes to your heels and back. Another move that felt like it was out of bar class. Next came side rise punch, basically side tri rise with a weight and a punch and punching with that weight. Part of me felt nostalgic seeing Drea do this, remembering how she kicked everyone's butt at side tri back in the original side tri rise back in the original shoulders and arms. Haha. <laughs> Last came warrior squat moon, basically transitioning back and forth from warrior three to half moon on either leg. Very tough here. Hard to keep that ba- the back leg off the ground during the transitions, but that's why we work at it. So overall, it was a pretty great workout. A lot of different moves that worked multiple body parts and had some good balance components. Pretty much covered the entire body, so it was a good place to start the program at. And of course, at only 30 minutes. You can beat that time commitment. Tomorrow brings Agility X, brand new type of workout to the P90X series. So that should be interesting. Of course, if you're ready to get into the best shape of your life in just 30 minutes a day, 
take the X3 challenge yourself. Let's get started.